Hi there, Minecrafters. Welcome back to another episode of, well, me. <laughs> Sorry for not uploading videos on a regular schedule. Over the summer, I've been very busy doing exams and re-exams and failing exams and other examinations. Anyway, new semester, new season, which means new videos as well. Today, it's going to be quite boring. Well, that's a lie. I'm going to announce, announce, announce. You know what I mean. Screw it. I'm going to tell you about some new videos I'm going to do in the future. The future meaning maybe next week, maybe next month. We'll see. Some of the videos may include season three of game giveaways. I got a new bunch of games to give away. It may include some reviews on of some new shitty games from Sega. <laughs> of course not. I won't review games from Sega. And uh, of course Minecraft Play. First of all, I have a Minecraft server running again. And uh, if you look on the screen right now, you can see it says foul.no uh, minus sign ip.bis. That's the IP you can connect to the server if you are whitelisted. The lower one you can't connect to because that's the same server just on my local network. Anyway, this is the server. Well, this is my house. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. It's raining. <laughs> There's one mod you have to install separately on to be able to join that server beside, of course, being able to uh, join by being whitelisted. The mod is custom NPCs. There is a link on the website with the same IP. I will link it in the description below the video. And thank you for that text. Furthermore, yeah, I've been playing a lot with my single player game. Anyway, as I said, furthermore, I intend to start streaming more. I have done a bit of streaming on Twitch, etc. And I I actually find it a lot of fun. I find it fun to chat with you guys while playing. Uh, and I think I could develop that a bit more. I was thinking uh, along the lines of uh, chatting with you while in game. Maybe you joining me in a game. Or maybe me joining you in a game. It doesn't have to be Minecraft. I have updated my Twitch page, so if you click on to the Twitch page, I will also link that in the description. There should be a relative new game list from my Steam library with games I play. Well, I think it's a couple of weeks old, maybe two or three weeks, but it's fairly recent. Um, Right now, I spend a lot of time playing uh, Payday 2 and Rome 2. Uh, unfortunately, I don't like Rome 2. <laughs> and uh, I do have a legit reason to say that, because I've so far spent roughly 15, 16 hours in the fucking game. Okay. Uh, Minecraft, it's still running uh, 1.5 because the mod developers are extremely slow. There's only one mod developer I really respect at the moment, and that's CPW. Of course, there are many of the developers. They are amazing, and they do amazing jobs. But when they are not able to keep their mods updated, well, fuck it. That's just BS. Imagine your car manufacturing say, oh, sorry, we can't update your fucking car because, well, we got a new brake system, but hmm, too bad for you. So, anyway. Oh, of course, I forgot to mention Sir Sanjia and the guys on Billcraft. Those guys are amazing. It's just as if you see uh, instantly when we get a new Minecraft, Forge is extremely fast updated. I, I mean, that's cr crazy. Sometimes there's a bit of delay, but that's that's natural. There will be problems because Dinnerbone is all about fucking the modding community. And uh, the mod developers, they have to deal with that. And uh, I'm quite impressed 
to speed the basic mods out. And uh, <laughs> the mods we usually wait on in the Feed the Beast pack are usually the same. Just fucking cut them off. Cut and run. Because if they're late now, they're going to be late for 1.7. They're going to be late for 1.8. They're going to be late for 1.9 and even for 2.0. Even though maybe it's a whole year out in the future, I will guarantee you they will always be late. <laughs> that really requires a change of mind to be able to suddenly be on time, or at least be on the same time as some of the great mods such as Billcraft and IC2. IC2 hasn't really had a official upgrade since, well, early this year, but Oh, look at this. I see two items. Well, volunteer work still works. And if you feel like upgrading a mod, don't worry about it. Just do it, because really, they aren't even allowed to mod the game. So, why the hell not? Okay, well, let's uh, let's see. What do we have here? Well, we have here some uh, railcraft, some logistics pipe. We have a... Sewage production facility. Well, that's just cows <laughs> walking around, shitting in holes, collecting the dung into this, generating some uh, fertilizer, moving the fertilizer along the red car conveyor. It's called, I was almost called a carpet. Yeah, up into the deployer, fertilizer deployer. We have a sapling planter down there and a harvester. It's going to be sorted. And Whenever a tree is sorted, we get a signal on the red, red net signal. When we get a signal, they will emit sludge, which is in turn generated from... Uh, where is it coming from? That, the various machines in there. And there we go. Should be able to see something. Oh, it's too fast. Anyway, sludge is usually triggered and pumped up into here, generating a random item, and trees are sorted into this chest. Saplings or spares of any kind are turned into biofuel, stored in that tank over there. Okay. Oh yeah, that's fine, fine. And then turned into power. We are generating enough, plenty of power, plenty of power, at least for this machinery. Then some of the saplings, oh sorry, tree wood logs are thrown into the steam oven, turned into charcoal, charcoal is pumped into the steam boiler, boiler is getting water from back there, and then creating steam into the silo, and the silo back there, and then generating power. We got the steam winds, which are pretty damn cool. <laughs> I love these. There's an automated version, there's also a manual version. And if you're wondering what they do, they let out steam and hurt things, including you. That's one of the machines. If you are a long time subscriber slash follower on YouTube, you will know Maybe last summer, a year, or maybe even two years ago, I made a fully automated chicken farm uh, using Red Power 2. Well, I've made a not automated chicken farm right now. And this is using <laughs> a mix of mod packs. Well, we don't have Red Power 2 because LRAM does not update her mods, so we have to do other things. Well, just imagine those to be, be a large chicken. Why don't we just get a chicken spawner? Chick, chicken spawner. There we go. Let's get that in there. So. Okay. Maybe we should do this. Just to make sure <laughs> they don't spawn on top. And they're probably going to do anyway. Okay. Go. 
through the underground. Oh, I, th I don't think they can spawn up there. Yeah, something to spawn. Anyway, we got chickens. Imagine those <laughs> to be mature chickens or adult chickens, big chickens. Then we're going to start the weapon. As he is going back there. Then we're going to turn up the gate. And now we know there's a lot of things laying around here. So let's turn on the water. The water will then push the items down there and they will be sorted. Once they are down, turn the water off, turn the gate back down, enable the spawning. Up there we have a signal, a wave generator, generating square waves, and we are amplifying it into a digital, digital signal. That digital signal is going into that deployer, as you can see. On, off, on, off. Easy. And we're getting new chickens. Eggs, of course, are also being sorted from down below. Another funny machine I have is uh, this one. I think I turned it on. Yeah, there we go. Just pumping out some random items. What we're doing is we're driving them through this hover. The hover has a comparator right there, which are turned into a analog signal. And you can see the signal right there on the screen. Actual signal, it says. Then we throw it through a rednet controller and we're just doing something as simple as greater than or equal by doing that, we are turning it into a digital signal, meaning turning it on, off, on, off. This one actually represents the amount of items going through at the moment. This one represents if there are any items or not. So, when we turn this off... There we go. Last one. Notice the signal. Bang! Same here. Only half a signal last time. That's turning signal digital into analog and vice versa. Here we just have a normal indicator. You can see there was a small bump indicating there was an item. Mm, what else do we have? We have green screen, we have uh, smelteries experimenting and yes it's possible to store all your liquid items, or items as liquids, and then just tap them out when needed, like so. Custom NPCs, well, that's something that's on the server, and if you forgot the server IP, go to this website, fable.no-ip.biz. There's no advertisements. If there is, let me know, because I certainly did not add any. <laughs> there will, you will see a video of how to install the mod. Anyway, there's items like a banker, a, a trader, and you can add up custom. How you be? You be selling stuff. I matey. And you can see you can set up a trade. And uh, I actually think I'm going to add that to the server. It's <laughs> a lot of fun. Imagine this. You come onto the server, you found ton of shitty items but then we have a trader he will trade you shitty items for shit some sort of shitty valuta or currency yeah. go. spawn we also have npc guards of course female elves what else and uh, you can get items and maybe buy something better this is just a spawn area a small city where you should be able to be protected, get help, sends even higher an NPC to follow you along for a day or two, or something like that. And yes, it is possible with this mod. That is why I want it on my server, because it's a lot of fun. Only downside to the server right now, it is that it is installed on a pretty shitty computer. 
So there will be lag. There will be lag, but the lag is not caused by the internet connection. It's not caused by RAM, but it's caused by a shitty computer from, I don't know, 10 years ago or something. I already got a new computer right next to it, but I haven't set it up. It's standing right here behind me. That's the actual server. So, well, one of these days I will move the server over to the new computer and run it from there. That should improve performance significantly. And it says 20 players. Well, whatever. That's just default. We could add as many as we want, if we want. Another thing, you, you really need to uh, follow me on Twitch. Did I mention it before? Yeah. A lot of good games there. And a lot of fun. My game giveaways for Season 3. I think it's going to be a mix of Twitch streams and uh, just videos on YouTube. In either case, I will always announce it on both Facebook and Twitter whenever it's done. We have a Facebook group and a page. So like or do whatever you do with those and make sure you get alerted. Follow me on Twitter to make sure you get alerted when I'm giving away free games and how to be eligible for winning them. And I don't care what region you're from because the internet has no oceans. Oh wait, the internet is one big ocean, there's no landmass. Right? Okay guys. I think that's it. Yeah, you can see I got a bit of thing. I'm planning a few Minecraft videos soon uh, about doing some automated stuff in uh, Feed the Beast. Just like the tutorials. Very short, very simple. Just focusing on doing one thing uh, to help people get a better understanding on how things work. Uh, I get a lot of good response on that and uh, so I think I'm going to continue with that. If you have any ideas on what to do, right now I, I have a few items listed. One of them is mob farming, automated mob farming and automated food. So I, I think that's meant to say generating food so you don't have to run around harvesting wheat or berries all the time. And uh, no, don't worry, it's not just going to be turtles. I like turtles, but I rarely do any videos using turtles because I like the mechanical part of Minecraft. I may, however, start using these guys because the RedNet controller, well, guess what? <laughs> That's actually what I'm doing at the university. This is. <laughs> well, it's the, the names are a bit different. Well, of course, the Smith trigger, we all know that, Scala, of course. But some of the items have different names, but maybe that's just localization. But hey, why the hell not? It's a lot of fun actually seeing things you do in real life in a game. <laughs> I really love this. I'm so impressed when I first found them and I was like, what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> why has I, why have I never used those before? They're amazing. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And remember, if you have any ideas on, on, on topics to bring up, or something to do on Twitch while streaming, join you in a game, you could join me in a game, something like that. And if you have any specific game ideas, Head over to the Twitch. I got my Steam list there, so you can see what games is up. And yeah. And yes, one final thing. I am playing Seven Days to Die, the new zombie slash Minecrafty thingy. It's a uh, <laughs> early alpha. It's not great, but it has a potential to be extremely great. Uh, Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.